Hello, Jay from Exterior Roofing, Siding, Windows. This is Joel from JND SEO. Spoke briefly to your office today on the phone, and I told them I'd send this video over. So I'm going to show you three ways that you can beat your competition online. And I don't want to waste your time, Jay. I don't want to waste mine. So I'm going to make this as quick as possible. If at the end of the video you want to hear more information, let's just set up a 10-minute phone call. If not, no problem. I'm actually going to give you some free tips in the video, and you could go ahead and apply them directly to your site, and they should definitely help you out. So first thing I do want to talk about is your homepage, and I'm looking to, to kind of to look at how much content you have on there. So just scrolling through, I'm just kind of counting the words roughly. Um, you know, and you guys probably have, I'm going to say, maybe three to 400 words of content on your page. Google really does recommend that you have over a thousand, and I always say 1,500 is a pretty safe number. And honestly, if you're kind of working out of a bigger city, then 2,000 is not even out of the realm here. Um, and the reason that you want so much is that 99.9% .9 of businesses don't have 1,500 words. And so therefore, just by having that alone, you're going to stand out in searches. And Google is actually going to rank you higher if you do have more content. But the other and probably even more important reason why you do want that much content is that the more content you have, the more keywords and keyword phrases you can put into that content. Just as an example, I've put in Roofing Greensboro, North Carolina here. And that is also a really good keyword or key phrase search, but also it is what a new customer would put in who is looking for roofing services in your area. So first thing you'll find with almost any Google search is these ads at the top. Companies are just essentially paying to be seen first by new customers in the hopes of getting more business. After that, you're going to find this map section. Top three companies will show up here based on citations. And that's just when you have your business name, address, and phone number all listed together into a directory site such as Yelp, Yellow Pages, or Home Advisor, just to name a few. After that, we're going to run into our organic section. This is where we start to see companies show up with their websites. There'll be 10 results that show up per page here. So, and these don't show up randomly. They all show up based on Google's algorithm and formula. And we now know two parts of that are content and keywords, as well as citations. So we could actually rank our key phrase, Roofing Greensboro, North Carolina, based on our results. So number one would be Skywalker Roofing, number two would be Yelp, which is a directory, and number three would be Baker Roofing. I could go on, but like I said, I'm trying to keep this short. So next up, I've taken your website, exteriorllc.com. I've put it into a program I like to use called Eris. This allows me to kind of analyze your site and see what's happening. At the top, I can see you've used your header and put in roofing, siding, decks, and more to enhance your home. Kind of a keyword there. You could also get your, bit, um, your company name in there. That would actually help you be found a little bit easier by Google. And if we look at just some of the numbers here, we'll just be quickly, we'll quickly go over these. 146 is how many referring domains. That just means websites that you guys have links on. When people click those links, it will actually send them to your page. And so the 146 referring domains are sending you back actually 528 links. So basically there is about, you know, a little bit less than five links per website there. And you guys do have 676 keywords that you can be found for in searches such as Google, just like what we put in Roofing Greensboro, North Carolina. And these are what really drive the traffic to your site. So these 676 keywords are really bringing about 165 visitors to your site per month. This is actually on a monthly basis. What I'd like to do next is click the keywords to kind of see where your traffic is coming from. First thing we do see is your business name, exterior. 100 people do search it just like that. And for that, you guys are in the first position. So you're number one. Remember that the top 10 results do show up per page or 10 results per page. So if you want to be on the first page, you have to be in the top 10. So obviously being number one is the best you can do. So good job with that. Citing near me, even though Google does kind of know where to put you based on location, it is more of a national term. That's why there is so much volume attached to it because it could be anywhere. Anyone in the U.S. could search that from anywhere. It could be Texas, California, which obviously isn't going to be as helpful to you in North Carolina. 
Um, so, you know, it's an okay one, but it's not the best one you could do. Even roofing siding contractors near me, these near me ones, you know, sometimes you do get, you know, might get people that you can't really help. So I would definitely work on focusing ones more specific to your location, such as this one here. This is a good one. Roofers, Jacksonville, North Carolina, 200 people do search it. And for this one, you guys, number 11, so that puts you at the top of the second page. Remember, 10 results per page. What we have found, though, is that 80 to 85 percent of people who do searches on Google will actually not go to the second page. And so you're definitely going to get a lot more results. You might get a couple if you're at the top of the second, but you're definitely going to get a lot um, more results by being on the first page. Roofers in Jacksonville, North Carolina, uh, vinyl siding, um, Fayetteville, North Carolina, so 1496. Not bad first page. That's pretty good. Just as a quick comparison, though, I do want to run over to Skywalker Roofing. They're one of the best results in the area. 536 referring domains, sending back over 2,500 links to their page. Over 4,000 keywords, sending back over 3,000 visitors to their site per month. Let's look at their keywords, though, and see what they're, where they're kind of getting it from. Skywalker Roofing, their business name, 900, um, and they're number one for that. One thing I didn't mention about business name, uh, if it's your own name, people know who you are. So if that's going to be a lot of your probably referrals and repeat customers, as well as people who kind of saw your signs or trucks and didn't maybe have time to write down the info. But here's a good one to bring in new customers. Roofing, Winston-Salem, North Carolina, 200, number one. Winston-Salem Roofing, 200, number one. Um, this one here, not the best. It's more of just a question. Doesn't mean somebody wants to get their roof done. You want the ones that are more what we call buyer intent, meaning that they're about to get their roof done now and need your help. Um, okay, so they service Virginia as well, it looks like. So roofing uh, Virginia, 100, number one there. But the key here is that you can find is that they're number one for almost everything. And, you know, definitely top 10 for a lot of these. And that's really why they're just getting so much traffic. Um, you know, and they're getting obviously more than you guys, but that's because of just the ranking on some of those keywords, which is bringing in almost double on some of those, I would say. All right, so that's just a little bit about content backlink citations. If you guys do want to hear more information, like I said, let's just have a 10 minute phone call. If not, no problem. Take what I gave you guys, some of the free tips today. Definitely apply them to your site, such as adding more content, and you will find it should help. I will just give you guys a call and just let uh, let me get a little feedback on my video. Just wanted to find out what you guys thought. Thank you for your time, though. I do appreciate it, and have a great day.